All right, so we're back from eating the live octopus. Oh, yeah. A few weeks later, if you can't tell, my hair has changed. It's more beautiful now. It's more beautiful. Yeah, it's very sexy. We're a few weeks older. Maybe we have a few more wrinkles. Yeah. Yeah, so how we found the place? Finding the place was pretty easy. It was, it was an experience. Yes. <laughs> we just found the seafood street where there's nothing but seafood restaurants. And we just looked outside. A lot of the seafoods here, they have aquarium outside of the restaurants. So it's good if you eat seafood because you know it's really, really fresh. So we just went to the ones, the octopus. Yeah. We went to the one that, well, I always go to restaurants that have actually some people in it. I never go to empty restaurants, like basic rule. And um, they had some really nice octopi. I think that's the plural. Yeah, octopi. And uh, so I asked the... The receptionist there, the door at uh, the front desk girl, and hey, do you have this octopus? But I don't speak Korean, obviously. So I was just like gesturing and uh, trying to explain myself with body language. Like, do you have these octopi that like you chop the arms chop, off chop, and then they are still moving? And so blah, 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 blah. And she was like, ah, oh, no, we don't have, we don't have. And I, I was trying to say, to say again and again. And after like, it felt like 10 minutes, she go, ah, oh, yeah, I think you know what, I know what you mean. And it was 20 seconds and she did not say, I think I know what you mean. She said, nay, nay, and then brought us to our seats. Yeah. The seats on the floor, which is pretty normal here. It was traditional and traditional. I, I love traditional uh, restaurants in Korea. It's, it's like cozy kind of. Sort of, but you don't, your legs don't fall asleep when you're sitting on the floor too long, <laughs> cross-legged. Mm. It can be torture, but that's why there's soju. That's why there's soju. To, to numb the pain. So the Koreans don't like sitting on the floor either. They just know that the soju will numb the pain yeah. of your legs falling asleep. Exactly. So, did you guess? A few minutes later, she brings the plate of octopus legs. <laughs> so it's not a full octopus. They just chop the legs off. Mm -hmm. And the legs keep on moving for quite a long time oh we sat there for maybe two hours we had a long dinner and yeah. lots of soju and beer and they were still moving especially if you poke them again yes. they're gonna start moving again like you really think they they are light yeah so it is creepy when you first eat them when i first started the chopsticks you stuck it in and then a few of them just started grabbing up on the chopsticks and i tried picking up one and then a bunch of them grabbed onto the chopsticks so I mean, you, you look miserable doing that, like, this was uh, embarrassing, right? Yeah, so this nice lady came over, and she, she was able to get one on it, and then she gave it to me, and then after she gave it to me, she just yelled at the waitress, and she's like, Ah, forku, forku! Which, Which means, like, fork. Yes, it means fork. So, one of the things that, it's one of my biggest pet peeves in Korea, is when I'm in a Korean restaurant, and I'm eating with chopsticks, and then the people working there just throw a pork on the table like, you uh, ignorant white piece of shit. What the fuck are you doing? You are too and stupid then, to use some simple chopsticks. Yes, here's, here's a fork. Yeah. So they didn't have forks at the restaurant and I'm happy because you're not supposed to stab the octopus. You're supposed to pick it up gently. One by one. One by one mm -hmm. and stick it in your mouth. But later it turned out we had some problems with one by one. It was just too boring. So yeah. I challenged Matt and well, I asked ask you, like, would you we'll, take we'll, we'll, get, well, we'll get back to that. But if you do have them one by one, they're not bad. They don't have right. a strong, strong flavor. You dip it in a sauce and you just eat them. It's fresh, so it's cold. But like I said, I hate seafood, but it doesn't taste like seafood. It does have a weird texture. It's enjoyable. It's a cold, squishy texture, but it's not bad. Yeah. It doesn't have some weird, rancid taste. Or anything like that. So we did, did this idea of challenge. Patrick did. He told me to eat a spoonful. A tablespoon. A tablespoon. So usually you eat like one leg of the octopus. But on this spoon there was probably like five, six, seven, eight. Who knows? Like It was like a, you know, like a bunch of those arms like moving and shit like that. And actually you have to be kind of careful when you eat that much because it can actually get stuck in your throat as we heard before. Yes, it can kill you. And But 
Anyway, Matt did it. They probably got because we had a lot of soju. We had soju. I wasn't thinking about it, but I would do it again. Yeah, I would never do it again. So, it stuck in the spoonful and it did take a while. I had to chew for a long time. It wasn't pleasant and I was able to get it all down without much of a problem. Mm. So, I said, Patrick, I just had a spoonful. It wasn't too bad. So, you had the spoonful yourself. Yeah, I thought I could handle it, but once I put it in my mouth, the whole spoon with like 10 arms, I don't know, it was... Okay, I started chewing, I thought, okay. But then I, I, I felt like, okay, this is gonna last forever. I, this is really... I have to chew a lot. And then the longer it took me to chew on them, then I realized, like, fuck, this is terrible. And this was more, was more like a psychological problem and I felt like disgusted by it. And I, I started like to almost throw up like... Mm, mm, mm at the same time chewing and then you can see in the end of the video I just threw up basically you just threw up on the plate this poor old lady is gonna have to clean it or she had to clean it yeah later I feel I feel bad for that and yeah. now we know that you will never be a tentacle porn star <laughs> thank god no that's your job it's my job yeah if the money's right you're more tough in this in this way you are very tough and eating weird slimy things yeah doing anything for money but yeah. anyway it was a great experience it was, uh, it was fun and uh, after that we were actually, actually i was also laughing about it and we just had another soju yes which is the standard rule here is you just have more and more soju yeah so i hope you like this episode our future episodes that we are planning are going to be a temple stay so we do plan to stay in a buddhist temple soon so, were you raised as a Christian or any religion? Christian. Christian. So, do you think you might get burned in the stake when you go back to Germany? Yes. For I cannot go back to Germany. He cannot go back to Germany because... Our church is really conservative and um, our, our local village priest, he would punish me hard. Yes. And would, would like expel me from this, from our community. So, Temple Stay and then maybe a follow-up episode where Patrick is burned at the stake for heretical deeds. So we are going to do that. Also, we planned on doing a DMZ, which... Demilitarized zone. Yes. We're going to go very close to North Korea's border. Yes. And it might give Patrick some deep memories of when he lived in East Germany. <laughs> exactly. That, and many other things. So stay tuned for our next episode.